Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm answering question number two from the October 2023 International A Level Pure Mathematics P4 paper from Edexcel. And this is the International A Level, and we have here a question about related rates of change, which is under the topic of differentiation. So it says Figure one shows a cube which is increasing in size. At time t seconds, the length of each edge of the cube is x centimeters, and the surface area of the cube is s centimeters squared. And we're also told that the volume of the cube is v centimeters cubed. So given that the surface area of the cube is increasing at a constant rate of 4 centimeters squared per second, so the surface area, which is s, so we can say that the rate of increase, or ds dt, is equal to positive 4. Okay, show that dx dt equals k over x, where k is a constant to be found. All right, so we have to basically do the following. So we have to think about what we've been asked to find. We have to find dx dt. I have the expression for dx dt. And then we have to think about what's been given to us. And what's been given to us is ds dt as 4. So what we do is something very Simple, basically. Say so dx dt is equal to. So you write down what you have to find. You write down what you're given in terms of its rate of change. So ds dt. Okay, I know eventually I'm going to replace that with a 4. 4 will take the place of that. But I think to myself, what rate of change? What rate do I have to multiply by such that I end up with dx dt? Well, for sure I have to have a dx. So I have to write dx on top. And I have to get rid of this ds, so I have to write ds underneath. When I multiply these two together, I'm going to be left with dx dt. Right? So I need to find the dx ds. Now, I know that the surface area of a cube, as all the sides are the same in a cube, the surface area, well, the area of one surface is going to be x times x, which is x squared. And you have altogether six surfaces. So the surface area is going to be 6x squared. So we know that the surface area of a cube is given by 6. In, in this, this, this case, it's 6 times x squared. So I can find the s dx quite easily. Differentiate both sides with respect to x. That's going to give me 12x. So therefore, I can say that the x ds, which I'm looking for, is going to be 1 over 12x. So I can say that I can say that the x dt, the x dt is going to be ds dt, which is 4 times 1 over 12x. So we can see that this is going to give you 4 and 1 twelfth cancel out, give you so you end up with 1 over 3x. So there's the answer for this. The x dt is equal to 1 over 3x. Okay. That looks like okay. And we can leave the answer like that. It's in the form we need. Okay. Um, they say k over x. In this case, k would be one third. One third over x is one over three x. But we don't have to write that down. Just put it in this form. And there's the answer for part A of this question. Now going on to part B. It says... Um, given, uh, so that's the same information as before, it says, show that dv dt equals v to the power of p, where p is a constant to be found. Okay, so now we've got to find dv dt. dv dt. Now what we have now is we have dx dt, we've been given as what we found as 1 over 3x. We also know that ds dt was equal to 4. All right, I think the simplest way about going this is to um, use this. So we have to find dv dt. Let's say we're given, we know what dx dt is now. We, we worked that out. If you multiply that by, now we, end up, we have to end up with dv dt. So it has to be a v on top, and we have to get rid of this dx, so we have to put dv dx. Okay, now what's dv dx? First of all, what is v? What is the volume of a cube? The volume of a cube is basically the length cubed, so it's going to be x cubed. So we can say dv dx is going to be 3x squared. So we can say dx dt we know is 1 over 3x. 
And dv dx is 3x squared. So we can say dv dt will basically give us 3 cancel, one of the x's cancel, just give us x. So we know that dv dt is equal to x. dv dt is equal to x. However, they want us to express it in this form over here, which is v to the power of p. Now, how do we do that? Well, let's take this. We know that v is equal to x cubed. If v is equal to x cubed, and I want to put x here in terms of v, what is x in terms of v? Well, we can take the cube root of both sides. So v to the power of a third equals x. Okay, if you take the cube root of both sides, remember the cube root of something is that thing to the power of one third. So we can say, therefore, dv dt, dv dt in terms of v is going to be v to the power of one third. And there we have the answer to part b. Okay, so it's all about writing down what's given, writing down what you have to find equals what's given, and think, what do I need to multiply that by to give us what we have to find? Okay, so that's basically how we do with that. There's probably other ways of dealing with this as well. I mean, we could have used this for maybe, but I'm not sure if that would work. So you could say dv dt is equal to um, ds dt times, and then you would have to have um, dv ds. Then it would be a bit of a palaver, right? Then Because then you'd have to have v equals x cubed and s equals 6x squared. You'd have to find dv ds, dv dx, which is going to be 3x squared, and ds dx, which is uh, 12x. And then you would have to um, basically, if you want to find dv ds, okay, you're going to say, all right, dv ds, to mess about with it again, is like dv dx times dx dv, ds, dx ds. So you're going to have to have 3x squared, okay, times, and you'll have uh, 1 over 12x. That will give you x over 4. So then you'd have ds dt, okay, which was 4 times x over 4, and you'll get x. Okay, you'll still get the same answer x, right, but it's a lot longer. You can still do it using the SDT, okay? But it's easy to use what we found in the first part of the question. So I just wanted to just see if it would work um, using the SDT instead of the XDT, and it would, but you have to do th go through a few extra steps there. So it's a bit of a hassle there. Easy to use what we, we found in part A. Anyway, so there's the answer to this question, question number two. Um, this is all about related rates of change. Um, other questions from this paper can be found in the playlist over here. Other questions involving differentiation from P4 in the playlist over here. I will make a specific playlist for related rates of change and put that in this section, in the, this section over here. And you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on this link. Thank you for watching and see you soon.